Greetings, friends of our Blessed Lady. This week we focus on the second of three large paintings in our Shrine of the Holy Agony. It appears to the viewer's right and portrays Jesus taken down from his cross. Joseph of Arimathea, along with another man, could he possibly be Nicodemus, have just lowered the body of Jesus. Mary Magdalene kneels near the scene and cannot contain herself as she wails in agony. A disciple, is he perhaps the beloved disciple, also weeps as he embraces Jesus' feet. Another woman witnessing the scene has lowered her head and holds her right hand to her face to contain her tears. Mary gazes on her son supported on a cloth suggestive of the shroud that will be used for his burial. The central focus of the painting is mother and son. Mary clasps her hands in profound sorrow. Jesus' lowered head rests near her beating, sorrowful heart. The two continue to share his passion together. The composition of the painting is striking. Jesus' left arm is raised parallel to the cross beam of the instrument of his death. The positions of Mary and her son are aligned in the same angle, suggesting for the moment that they are both victims of the same cross. For a fuller description of Jesus' descent from the cross, see the script provided by George Whalen. In our prayer, we ask Mary to help us to share the sufferings of our own children. We pray, Mary, our beloved mother, please help us always to guide our children to strive to fulfill their hopes and dreams. Give us the courage to share their sufferings and pains. Guide us always with strength and passion in our love for one another as we deal with the inevitable challenges in our family life and in our society. We ask this through your Son, Christ Jesus. Amen. In our next Shrine Reflection, we will focus on the painting of the Crucifixion. Thank you, dear friends, for your patronage, and especially for your devotion to Mary. May you always remain close to our Blessed Lady. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to you.